got another update for you. So this afternoon, what a beautiful day today. This is what we got done. It's starting to come together and start to put the pieces back. So we got the last couple days, I have not done a very good job of videoing what we were doing because I was trying to get it done. This is our plumbing setup. These are our two new pumps. They are Aqua Surge EXT 18,000. So they will pull 18,000 gallons a piece. So we got our suction line, discharge line, and uh, I'll be painting these black so they're not so uh, noticeable. But suction lines go from the intake bay. Discharge lines go all the way around in that trench that is no longer there. We got it all filled in today. And I'll walk you around. There's one irrigation pipe I gotta fix. And then there's several more on the way. Beautiful beach kids would die for right next to the pond our friendly neighborhood mallard duck there's a couple of them and a female that have been in and out of this pond since we started this project we got our trench all backfilled over here and somewhat cleaned up as much as we can. This soil is very chunky and uh, my little machines kind of just bounce over the top of it instead of grade it. So that's uh, aggravating. But this soil over here is a lot more, it's all topsoil. So it came out a lot nicer. Got our pathway put back together. Got this all buried. Number six irrigation line I gotta fix. And here are our hoses that we will discharge into the pond. So these are cut long. I will cut them off probably about here. Put a couple of bigger boulders on each side of it and point that water flow probably four or five inches underneath the surface and point it directly at our intake bay that's over there in the shade that you cannot see convenient. So that's what we got going on over here. I don't think I ever videotaped this, but the landscapers cut this out before I got here. It's going to be a camping area right next to the pond. So that'll be super fun to have. Come out with the kids, set up a tent, set up a nice bonfire next to the pond. Go camping and if you still need to use the kitchen it's a few steps away instead of setting up a whole new kitchen at the campsite got the uh, intake bay 100% done finally got the rock we needed for the inside it's a little bit bigger rock than I wanted I wanted two to three inch rock I got two to three inch rock it was super dirty, had a bunch of small gravel in it, so I would have clogged up the aqua blocks. And so I didn't use it, went back to the supplier, told him I wanted two to eight inch rock, that is two to three inch rock was super dirty. You should talk to his quarry and clean that up. Now sitting in the truck waiting for my two to eight rock. And he pours in another load of two to three inch rock because he was confused. And then I have even more rock that's dirty and I don't want and I don't need. But thankfully I caught it this time. Had him put two yards of two to eight in the back. And this is what we got. So all we need is electrical. 
just need an electrician to stub out power here for our line that we put in to run a couple dosers and to hook up our pumps. The previous one that's here is still working. So that guy's all hooked up. So as soon as we get water in the pond, which I think will be Friday, we can run this one at least. But we will need the electrician to hook up to these two. That's a 20 amp panel. That's a 20 amp pump. That's a 20 amp pump. That's a 20 amp pump. My math skills aren't the greatest, but that doesn't add up. They have some work to do on their end and uh, they're gonna have to pour, pull more power out here at one, some point. And then we can have the full circulation of the pond, intake bay, all that stuff. That's what we got so far. We will fix all the irrigation lines tomorrow, finish grading everything, set up the dosers, as in just put them in the ground because I can't hook them up to anything. And a couple little odds and ends and a lot of cleanup. I'm gonna clean up all that. That's it for today. See you guys later.